What's going on everybody? This is Nico Moreno here and in today's video we're going to be learning how to use Zoom. So it's very easy, it's actually web-based and yeah I figured right now would be a great time in the world to share how to use this useful tool because a lot of people are, they don't really have a choice, right? It's time to take your business online and it's time to learn how to have meetings online. So if you want to learn how to do that, stick around because I'm going to walk you through step-by-step -step exactly how to use Zoom. And you're going to find it's actually pretty easy. Before we get into it, what actually is it? It's very simple. It's just an online tool that allows you to have video calls, screen share calls, or just voice calls. Why would you want to actually use Zoom? And I promise we're about to get into this in just a second, but I kind of want to make sure, I know there's going to be a lot of people here who maybe aren't even sure if they need to use Zoom. So why would you want to use Zoom? Well, if you have a coaching business, you can do, you can serve your coaching clients this way. If you do consulting, any sort of like services, like my mom is like a financial consultant and accountant, so she can help her clients face to face this way. Group meetings. Uh, my mom is also, go mom. My mom is also like um, a member of this specific group, and now they're holding all their group meetings like online every week. Greencast training. So, just like this, if you wanted to, teach people how to do something on their screen. Like you can see my mouse, you can see me typing. Online webinars, again, this is a bit more advanced, okay? So we're not gonna actually cover the whole setup process of a full online webinar where you have like hundreds of attendees. That also requires a paid plan, but you can do that with Zoom. Again, we're not gonna cover that today. Uh, you can also just do one-on-one -on -one video calls or just a standard voice call or voice conferencing. So those are a lot of different use cases of why you would want to use Zoom in the first place. Okay, so now let's actually get into this. I just wanted to make sure that everybody's clear on kind of what Zoom is and what it isn't, right? So let's go ahead. Here's what happens when you go to the Zoom homepage. And we're gonna go ahead and it's very easy. If you're gonna be attending a Zoom meeting, it's extremely easy, okay? So let me walk you through that. If you're the one who is attending a Zoom meeting and you're not actually creating or hosting it. All you need to do is just click that join a meeting. We're gonna open it in another tab. And the person who is organizing the Zoom meeting, uh, by the very nature of them creating a Zoom meeting and organizing it, they will get a link with a meeting ID, okay? And so if they're creating the meeting and they're gonna be the one hosting it, they will, they have to have a link and they'll have a meeting ID and they will just give that to you, okay? So just ask them for that or they'll know to give it to you and you literally just type it in here and then you click join and that's it, okay? So Zoom is super, super easy to use if you were gonna be a meeting attendee. So if you are the one that's gonna be hosting the meeting, so as in you're the leader of the meeting, you're the coach, you're the consultant, you're the person who's gonna be training people, whatever it is, then instead you wanna select host a meeting, okay? So there's three different options you'll see right here. One is with video on, one is with video off, one is with screen share only. Okay, so you just pick the option that's best for you. Um, so literally, it's just up to you if you only wanna be talking face-to-face -face and you don't wanna share your screen. So just for the purpose of this example, I'm gonna show you how to do it with video on because that require, that's kinda like everything, right? We're, also, we're sharing the screen in the video and I'll show you how to just switch either part off if you don't wanna do either part. Okay, so you see it kind of loads here and then there's a pop-up. So you see it says open zoom.us. It wants to open this application. So you need to, if you don't get this pop-up or you have pop-ups blocked, then you're gonna need to check the top of your browser and make sure that you can see this, okay? So all you need to do is click open zoom US. It's gonna take a little bit and then it says join a meeting. See, okay. So now let's walk through the features here it's gonna be, it's a little bit confusing because I'm sharing my screen and I'm also on the screen, but I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do all this, okay? So there's a couple things that we need to know. You can set it to record, you can set Zoom to record automatically, and so my Zoom room automatically records all meetings, okay? Um, you can also stop, you can pause the recording but still have the meeting going, so I'm gonna do that. So now I've stopped recording, so the file will not be saved from this point on, but I'm still having the meeting, okay? So let's do the first thing here. You see it says join audio. Zoom will most of the time automatically just pick up uh, the, I have 
my earbuds plugged in and so it knows to do that. But we do need to join audio. You'll see right here, there's a couple options. We're gonna go through all of these down at the bottom. Um, and you'll see most of the time you will actually need to join audio, okay? So if you can't hear or if the people cannot hear you on the other end, um, you need to make sure that first thing you click this. Okay, so let's click it and then it says join with computer audio. And then you'll see right here, it says you're using the computer audio. Cool, and then what we can also do is we can mute ourselves too. And it'll say where you're muted now. So Zoom tells us exactly what's going on. So we can mute ourselves, let's say like someone knocks at the door or something and we don't wanna disturb the meeting or whatever's going on, right? Or you need to pick up the phone. Whatever it is, you can mute yourself and then you can select to unmute yourself. Cool, and then you'll see right here, uh, you can select actually a different speaker system if for whatever reason the audio is not working and you have other speakers, this is a bit more advanced. 99.9% .9 of you are gonna be totally fine with the stuff that I'm gonna be walking you through in this video, so you probably don't have to worry about that. You can also choose to stop the video and the meeting will not be ended. The other person or the other people will still be able to be there waiting on the call, but your screen or your video is not showing, okay? and then you can just click that button again and it'll come back. Let's say the person um, who is coming onto the meeting, they don't have the link or they can't find the link or they lost the link or they don't know how to get to, they don't know how to get to this Zoom meeting. So here's what you do. All you do is you click invite and what I would do, sometimes if you use these, it may end up in spam. So what I always do is I, recommend, I just recommend that you click the copy URL right here, and then you can just paste this URL. So it's automatically copied to your clipboard, or to your clipboard, and then all you need to do is go somewhere where you can paste your link. And so there's the link, okay? So you just give this big ugly link to the person. You can send, you can actually like send them a Gmail email uh, and say here's a link and they'll get it right away or if you use iMessage or Facebook chat or something they can get the link right away uh, but what I have noticed is sometimes when you use these it will go into spam and the person just will never get the email okay so be careful about that make sure you just use the copy URL feature all right so next thing is manage participants so once you have some people in the room other than yourself what you can do is you can actually uh, choose to mute certain people, or you can unmute them, right? So let's say we had another person. Uh, well, this is obviously me, but let's say this was someone else other than me. I could choose to mute them, or I could choose to unmute them, right? So that's useful if you're, for example, you're the one that's hosting the call, you're leading the call, and you want someone else to be able to speak, or you want someone else to like answer a question or something like that. So that's what that is, it's pretty simple. Final capability that's really important to know about Zoom is it has its own chat feature. So you can actually have a sort of a chat feature right here where everybody will be able to see, but you can just type down here and say, hey, everyone, please type back and let me know you can hear me. And then we need to There we go. And then they can type back and say yes, yes, yes. You can also share like a link. Let's say you need everybody to go view like a specific link. You can just like paste a link here and then they can click on it and see it in the background. Okay, so that's how the chat feature works. And again, you can record the meeting here if you don't have it set to automatically start recording, which I do. We saw that earlier. You can also just select to record. So here's another thing is you can share the screen if you have not selected to create a screen share meeting at the beginning. So let's say you selected only video, but you decide later, hey, or you decide during the meeting, hey, I actually do want to share my screen. All you do is you click this green button that says share, and then now we're sharing the screen, okay? And what you can do is later you can also decide, hey, I want to stop sharing my face. Okay, so you can kind of just like, so I click that, so the video is not showing anymore, and now all I'm doing is sharing my screen. So really, it doesn't matter too much what you select at the very beginning, because you can always change 
or you can always decide during the meeting, hey, I do want to share my screen, or hey, I don't want to share my camera anymore. Okay, so we'll restart the camera, and then uh, we're going to stop share right here. So you can see stop share, or you can pause share. We're going to stop the share, and that ends the screen share part. Okay, so that's really the main capabilities. And then you just talk, you share your screen, you do what you need to do. And when you're ready to finish the meeting, when you're ready to end it, you just click the button right here that says end meeting. And you'll only be able to do that if you are the meeting host, okay? You can leave the meeting if you're an attendee, but you're not the host. You can leave the meeting whenever you want to at any time. But if you are the host, you're the only one who can actually end the meeting for all people, okay? So we're just gonna say end meeting for all. And then let's get out of this. Cool, so that's the basics of how to use Zoom. So I didn't mention this at the beginning, but you do need to have an account. It's free for most of the features and all the features that I'm showing you today are available with the free account. So just click my account. Um, and if you have an account, it'll take you here. And if you don't have an account, it will prompt you to create a free account. Again, it's totally free. All you need is an email, okay? So a couple cool things about the account page is it'll tell you, you can actually have, you have a personal meeting ID and you have a link here. So you may not be able to see this. I'm gonna blur some of my personal information out. But right here in the personal meeting ID section, you will have a link right here and you can actually just use this ID for instant meetings anytime, okay? So if you don't want to have like, if you don't wanna do the setup, if you don't wanna schedule it, if you don't wanna do anything like that, you can literally just go to your account page at any time and grab the link that's right here. And all you need to do to have an instant meeting with no setup, literally you grab this link, you paste it into the top tab and you press enter and then it'll open Zoom for you. So that's how you do it. And then if you want to, you just need to give that exact same link to somebody else who you want to come on the meeting or multiple people who you want to come on the meeting. And then the meeting is instantly created. Uh, and yeah, it's literally that simple. You just grab the URL that is in here. This is your personal meeting ID. So you only want to share this with people who you want to have on your meeting, which is why I'm blurring it out, right? So that's it. It's very simple. Uh, again, the paid versions are more for advanced business use, such as webinars with lots and lots of attendees. Uh, again, this is more, this is just a basic video of how to get your Zoom account set up and how to start using Zoom. So we're not going to get into that. Um, I showed you guys how to set up a meeting. We showed meeting functionalities. So now we're quickly gonna go over a couple use cases. So Calendly, for those of you who don't know what Calendly is, it's an online calendar application where people can pick a time that's available. It'll only show times that's available for your calendar and their calendar automatically. So it's, it saves a little bit of back and forth. Uh, we're just gonna go here and this is what Calendly looks like. So I use this all the time for like clients or for sales calls or anything like that. Uh, because instead of saying like, hey, when are you available? Um, or like, when are you available, right? And then it's all this back and forth. You just give them the link and they pick a time. And if you have a block on your calendar where you're not available, it will not show over here, okay? So it's very cool, it saves time. Again, this is called calendly.com. What you can do is see how I said this, meetings will be held via Zoom video call. The login URL will be shared in the confirmation email. So once you set up Calendly, this is not a Calendly tutorial, uh, but you can set a thank you or a confirmation email after the person books their time. And you just put your, you put this personal meeting link in the thank you email or in the confirmation email of Calendly. And then they automatically just have the link. And then they're set to go at your scheduled time. That's another use case um, that I use a ton. It's super easy to do. Uh, the next thing that I want to share is, oh, creating a Gmail and Google Calendar invite that automatically has a Zoom link in it, okay? So if you use Gmail or if you use Google Calendar to manage your calendar, this is a super easy way. I'm gonna show you right now how to create a Google Calendar meeting or event. And then I'll show you, you can actually link up your Zoom account automatically and it'll generate a link for that meeting. So let's go ahead and say, let's create a meeting really quickly. Nico Moreno and Sandy Jones, okay? So you'll see right here, what you can do is you actually have the option right here to do add location or conferencing before the meeting is done, okay? So we'll do add location. 
or we'll do add conferencing and we can say Zoom meeting. See, and then it automatically gives the person the link, the password and joining instructions. And these are all set inside the meeting. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's click this and I'll show you what the meeting description looks like. See, so there's a link right here that's gonna take them to join the meeting. And all you need to do is, of course, you need to add your guests' emails in here, okay? So the person that you wanna attend the meeting, you just need to put their email in there and then send them the invitation. But that's it, um, it's all set up in here. If you don't, if you can't figure out how to do the Zoom integration, because there is like an extra step to have this automatically link up, what you can do is you can again grab your special personal me personal meeting ID here. So you just grab that link and you just paste it here in the description. And you can say join the meeting here and then you just paste the link right there. And then when you send this invitation to them, they'll automatically see this description and they can just click on the link and join the meeting with you. Cool, so that's how it works. Again, super easy, I do this like all the time. Uh, it works great and it's very it's very low tech, okay? So I know for some of you, again, this may be the very first time that you're using Zoom, but you'll get the hang of it very quickly. Uh, really all you need at the end of the day is that special link. And one final use case I wanna show you guys is you can host group meetings with Facebook groups. So here's my Facebook group or here's one of my Facebook groups here. Um, if you guys wanna join this, you're welcome to join. It's all about online business, uh, people who own or want to start an online business. So you can just type this in here, digital CEOs monetize and scale, and then find this group um, and we'll let you in. But what you can do right here is, you could say something like, hey guys, so let's say you have a group of people um, in your company or in your business or whatever it is, right? You can just say, hey guys, today's Zoom meeting is starting. Now, here's the link to join. And then you just paste your link right here, and then you would post it, right? And then everybody in the group, um, you can see we have a bunch of members here, but everybody in the group is going to be able to see this link. So that's it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this was helpful for you. If you enjoyed this video, and if this was helpful for you, give this video a like, give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. Also, consider subscribing to the channel down below for more free training and for more information just like this. And finally, if you know someone who needs to know this skill right now, then please share this video with them because again, right now in the world, things are changing and people do need to know these skills. It's extremely important. So if you do know someone who needs to learn how to use Zoom video conferencing, please share this video with them now. Thanks so much for watching. It's been Nico Moreno.